Today we have 10 guaranteed diamonds as well as some packs that have good odds for diamonds but don't guarantee any. So we're going to start with a little bit of the standards right now. If you guys enjoy the pack openings, obviously drop a like on the videos if you want to see more of them. I will say right away, no McDonald's story today. I have, uh, I, have I think, uh, another funny fast food story here in a second. That's not bad timing, getting a diamond right away. I will 100% take that. But, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I, I forgot to say, this is my lucky shirt, bro, for pack openings. The last two times I've worn this, I've had at the time my two best pack openings of the year. And we're already starting off hot. This is the highest overall. I, I have not had a better pull this year in terms of overall, I don't think. And unless I'm misremembering something. So, already... Uh, we're starting off pretty solid. That's that's not bad at all. And we still got a decent amount of we still got the entire pack opening ahead of us. I'm sitting here about to say, yeah, we still got we still got a decent amount of packs left. No, we have the whole packs left. The rest of the video. So that's uh that's pretty cool to see. I do have a McDonald's story coming in the next few days, though. I just uh, I'm trying to go in order of like the way things are happening to me and i just have a story that's coming before that one something happened to me when i was uh when i was going through the taco bell drive through and ordering my food was fine at taco bell i haven't had any issues really recently with them hearing me over the intercom and and getting my order correct and everything like that they always put everything up on the screen they ask if it's correct like it always goes pretty smoothly at taco bell and i pull up to the window and the guy takes my card or whatever and says, as he's taking it, he just kind of looks at me and stares for a second and says, back again? Like, you're here again at this Taco Bell? And I had probably went to that Taco Bell a few days before that. But this is a guy that I've never seen in my life. And it, 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 I, I go to Taco Bell, I go to fast food places probably more than I should. And... I've never seen this guy in my life at Taco Bell. I, I could have forgotten him. I guess that's a possibility. But if I would have seen him the last time I had been, which was probably three or four days before that, I definitely would have remembered. My memory is not that bad. And so he just was like back again. And I'm like, uh -huh, yeah, I, I guess so. I, I probably come here too much. Just kind of trying to play it off because I had no clue what he was talking about. I did not recognize him at all. And after he hands back my card, he kind of like sticks his head out the window and, and, and looks the other way at the at the back of the line. And then he kind of looks at me, stares for a few seconds and goes, what was I looking at? And I kind of look back. I don't see anything. Uh, you know, sometimes I've seen a horse going through the drive through before. Nothing like that today. And I'm clearly confused. And he just kind of said, it looks like I'm looking at a spaceship or something. I looked back and I'm, I'm like, I guess I don't see what you're talking about. And real quick, we're going to switch to some of the guaranteed diamonds. I have these big dog packs. We want to be seeing the rare round, the higher overalls in each one. And after I told the guy, I'm like, oh, I, I guess I don't see what you're talking about. He says, it's one of the, hey, we just got the rare round. That's not bad. He says, I think it's one of those Nissan ultimatum 270,000 X's, you know? And I'm like, uh, I'm not really a car person, man. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And he says, I need to give me what you have. And I'm just, I'm sitting here just driving a, a, a plain old Honda Civic. And I'm like, oh yeah, man, I, I love my Honda. And he's like, I would love a spaceship, but I need what you have. And I'm sitting here like, yeah, I, I, I like my car, man. It's, it gets the job done. So I just say, yeah, I would recommend it. And I think we just got the rare round again. So that's two of, I think, the five that we got the rare rounds on. That's uh, that's really not too bad. Let me check the prices quick. I'll just go David Price. And at that point, he had handed me my food right after that. And right before I drive away, he says, all right, I'll see you again tomorrow. And I'm sitting here like, okay, man, I'll, I'll see you later. I, I, I've didn't have any plans to go to Taco Bell the next day. It's not like I'm sitting here going to Taco Bell every day. So I, I, I didn't see him the next day because this had happened a few days ago. But hopefully, hopefully, I guess if I see him next time, 
Maybe he'll remember me. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get through the rest of these ball ins. I think it's a 1 in 15 chance for a diamond guaranteed gold or better. The guaranteed gold is always in that final spot. And uh, ball in is almost always a gold for us. I think I like just revealing it like this and letting it go over if it's a diamond. Just because it's, it, it's kind of quick. And I don't want to say painless when you don't see a diamond. But I, I, I truly don't know. If I have pulled a diamond out of a ball in as a habit pack this year, this is our last chance for this video. No diamonds again today. I, I truly don't think it is possible to pull a diamond out of those. We have a diamond ball player pack. We also get two diamond perks out of this. We're hoping for one of those rituals that's worth a lot. And we just got some batting gloves. At least it's not worth just 1,000. I'm going to pick the two that I don't have. I figure that's probably the best way to go about it. We have always intense right here. The rare round is worth 15 to 20,000 stubs. So let's see if we can maybe get the rare round this time. Unfortunately, not today. I would assume y'all are about the same prices. Yeah, everyone's right around the same thing. I'll just grab Will Myers right there. We have this Legends Takashi Okazaki pack. We really want the rare round. That's about 40,000 stubs. We can grab it. One in five odds for that. And we actually got... Yo, it's the lucky shirt. We've gotten the rare round a few times. We had that pretty solid diamond pull at the beginning. This is not going badly at all. I would recommend Bob Feller if and only if you can stand his windup. He's not a bad pitcher at all. Good break, velocity, hits per nine, and control and stamina. I feel like he's really what you want from a starting pitcher. Except his windup makes me pitch badly with him. I know it might sound stupid, but it's just, it's the truth. These headliners have one in 10 odds. I really think all these packs, I probably should have said this at the beginning. And I might even throw something in at the beginning. Almost all of these packs, probably not all of them, but almost all of them were from the shark map. So if you have not done the shark map for conquest, I would recommend it. It feels good to see another diamond popping up. We do have a lot of guaranteed ones, but I feel like when you are not guaranteed a diamond and you do get one, it just feels that much sweeter. Justin Verlander, excited to be part of the team. He's getting quick sold pretty soon, <laughs> and he's going to be off the team. But at least he was excited for the time being. Man, I was hoping to see back-to-back -back diamonds. Every time I get a diamond, it leaves me wanting more. It's kind of like any time I have Coke, like a large Coke from McDonald's, it leaves me wanting more. And sometimes you have some leftover Coke that you maybe didn't realize was still in there. And you get to drink it up and it's another red diamond. Yo, this is the lucky shirt. Oh, man. That's awesome. Is this the Justin Moore? No. Wait, this has actually been a really good pack opening it's got to be the shirt i feel like that is the only explanation at this point majority of the packs have been coming from the shark map now we have this headliner kind of choice pack right here valued at about twenty-five thousand stubs i'm gonna get the jersey that i don't have we really want to see a diamond all right we couldn't get lucky on that one i guess i'm gonna go with class a just because he's the highest overall in that pack, we're going to start with the Home Run Derby pack, then go to the All-Star Game pack. The odds are the same on both of them. Home Run Derby cards worth about 200,000. All-Star Game cards worth about 140 to 160. That's kind of a big gap in between them. But let's try to get lucky today. Let's go! It's the shirt! It is the shirt. I don't know what's going on. All three times I've worn this shirt for a pack opening, I have had at the time my best pack opening of the year now i have both of them already but soto's worth a little bit more stubs so we're just gonna grab soto right there now it's time for the all-star game pack can we get lucky back to back no we can't get lucky back to back packs and real quick i don't like to do sad outros and i like to do my outro before the final pack so that we don't do a sad outro at some point two videos will pop up on the screen one of them will show you how i got my stub count so high and the other will be hand selected for you by youtube as always drop a like and consider subscribing if you enjoy the videos i appreciate y'all support every single day let's go ahead and try to get lucky one final time with the lucky shirt and what has already been one of if not my best pack openings of the year 
and we kind of get lucky another time but i hope you all enjoyed the video again feel free to check out how my stub count so high feel free to check out the video that youtube has hand selected for you i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time peace out